Everybody thinks a pump is a new invention, but it's not new at all. It has been millions of years that different animals had a pump inside them. The heart. Nowadays, most animals, except a very small percentage, have a heart inside them. On this channel, we wanted to create a new playlist and explain different body parts to you guys. And in this video, we want to talk about the most famous one, the heart. The heart is extremely famous. Whenever you talk about love, you hear about the heart. Anybody that gets sad or heartbroken, they literally say heartbroken, but it has nothing to do with the heart. The heart is an extremely well-made pump and it starts from the beginning of life all the way to the very end. Before everything, let's look at the heart and see how it works. You guys have heard about blood pressure. There has to be pressure in your blood system. If it's not, it doesn't move around. But for some people, the blood pressure is either high or low. The heart brings in blood and with pressure, it lets it all out. After it lets all the blood out, it has to lower the pressure to let new blood in. If it doesn't lower the pressure inside the heart, that means you have high blood pressure and it's putting a lot of stress on your heart. A normal sized human has about 5 liters of blood inside their system and all the heart does is pump this much blood around the body. Not once, not twice, but 100,000 times a day, 35 million pumps a year and depending on the lifespan, about 2 to 3 billion pumps a lifetime. If you want to know the size of your heart, you have to put both your hands together like this and this is the size of your heart. Depending on the height and weight of the person, the heart can weigh from 250 to 350 grams. A lot of people think that the heart is located on the left side of the chest, but the heart is actually in the center, slanted to the left. And that is why you could feel it more on your left side. If you want to see where it is, it's actually located in the middle of both lungs. The pump of the heart is separated in two pieces. One place is a high pressure zone and the other is a low pressure. And it's the high and low pressures that cause the blood pressure. Inside your heart, you have four valves and it basically works like a car's valve. It passes a tiny amount of blood and it closes shut. You guys know what the heart sounds like. It's like this, but what you're hearing is the valves opening and closing. The entire heart is not a pump, but there is a section for it. There are actually two pumps located inside the heart, and it's the right ventricle or left ventricle. The veins bring the blood to the heart and the arteries are responsible for taking it out. The right ventricle pumps the blood into two arteries and the pathway is extremely short because it goes to the lungs. Why does it go to the lungs? The reason blood goes inside the lung is to get rid of the carbon dioxide and gain oxygen. This is the most important job your lung has. When the blood gains oxygen, it returns to the heart once again, but not to the right ventricle. It goes to the left ventricle. And this is when the blood is ready to be pumped throughout the body. This time, it enters an artery and it doesn't go to the lungs. It goes throughout the whole body. The artery that is used to pump the blood throughout the body is the biggest vein we have and it's almost like a garden hose. This process we explained to you guys is happening in seconds and it continues all the time. If you want to know the whole process, the blood enters from the body into the heart, from the heart to the lungs, from the lungs back to the heart, and from the heart back to the body.
When we take our blood pressure, we see two numbers. One is higher and one is lower. Like for example, 120 over 80. The 120 is the pressure that's exiting the heart and growing throughout the body. The 80 is the pressure inside the ventricle or the thing that causes the pump. When you take someone's blood pressure, is one of the easiest way to tell how someone is doing. But that doesn't mean if your blood pressure is good, then you're completely fine. But it is a good starting point to see somebody's health. When you have low blood pressure or high blood pressure, they're both bad for you. And if any of them happens, there is an issue inside the body. High blood pressure is one of the worst things that could happen because not only is it putting pressure on the heart, it's putting pressure on your veins, and it's also putting pressure on your other organs, especially the brain, the most sensitive one. Heart doesn't have anything to do with being heartbroken or sad. It's the brain that does all that, and the feeling always comes from the brain. So if you really wanna be heartbroken, is to leave your heart have high blood pressure and cause major damage to your system. One of the highest deaths that happen is through heart disease. There isn't only one type of heart disease, there's plenty of different ones. It's not only high blood pressure that could damage the heart. There are plenty of different things that could cause issues in your system. Some people have heart disease genetically or it runs in their family. When the problem is genetics, it doesn't have anything to do with working out or not working out or eating healthy. Unfortunately, after a certain age, there is a high chance they will get it. About 5% of the world's population suffers from heart disease. Doctors say if heart disease runs in your family, there is a 50% chance the kids will get it. Doctors always suggest to the youngs that have heart disease in their family to start working out early, eating healthier, and that allows you to keep your cholesterol stable. Alcohol and cigarettes are extremely bad for the heart. If you have heart disease in your family, you always have to keep a close eye on your blood pressure. And if you see any issues, you gotta talk to your doctor quickly. Before you damage your heart, doctors can help you resolve an issue. These suggestions are for the people that have heart disease in their family, and it's not a crazy amount. But the doctors suggest to keep a healthy heart, the most important thing you need to do is eat healthy. And if you decide to eat fast food or junk food, do it rarely. Working out is king, and it's the best thing to keep yourself and your heart in shape, especially cardio, like running, jogging, jump ropes, or biking. Not only is this making your body stronger, it's making your heart stronger. Just like we said, alcohol and cigarettes are very bad for your heart, even if you don't have heart disease in your family. We said all this, but we didn't tell you the worst thing for your heart. Something everybody knows about. Stress. Stress is the enemy of the heart, and it's always putting pressure on it. Stress raises blood pressure, and not only does that damage your body part, it even puts a lot of pressure on your brain, and it could even cause a stroke to happen. Short-term stress is nothing to worry about because you're just human. Like for example, you crashed your car and you're stressing about it for a couple weeks. That's okay, you can get better. It gets terrible when you have stress for years because not only does it put pressure and damage all your organs, it damages your heart the most. In conclusion, eating healthy and working out is king. These two will help you have an extremely healthy lifestyle.